Welcome back to another NBA recap video where I'm going over the best of Sunday's action. The Minnesota Timberwolves complete the season sweep over the Warriors. This was a very impressive win for them, but also a game that the Warriors were coming in with desperation because the Houston Rockets have been hot on their tails in pursuit for that 10 seed and final play-in spot. And now the Warriors, as it is, have been in jeopardy of missing the playoffs, the 18 playoffs as a whole, because if they got in as the 10 seed, they would have to play two play-in games against on the road against some good formidable opponents that are in the picture right now but now there's a chance that they're in jeopardy of even getting to compete in that tournament as the red hot rockets winners of eight straight they play the trailblazers tomorrow are just one game behind the warriors draymond green said he doesn't care about the rockets but at some point it will be a threat to the warriors the pelicans and in particular zion williamson look great right now he simply looks unguardable he had 36 more points today yes it was against the pistons but he's been doing this against no matter who the Pelicans and Zion is going up against. So going into the play-in or the playoffs, the Pelicans will be a scary team led by Zion Williamson playing at a superstar level. The Bucks locked in on defense against the Thunder and it gave them one of their more impressive and encouraging wins of the season. Giannis has the ability to be the best player on the court at all times. So that's going to be their formula going into the postseason as he was just too big and too much to handle in the interior for the Thunder. Under. The Clippers' inconsistencies continue as they lose yet another game as a double-digit favorite. It's James Harden's first game against the Sixers since the trade earlier this year, and after this loss, he left the locker room before Ty Lue's press conference, before it was open for media availability, so he was not in the mood to talk after this loss to his former team, and just a tough loss for the team as a whole. They're now 1-8 against winning teams since the All-Star break, so if you break their season up, they had a poor start when they got James Harden. They went on an incredible run where they looked like borderline Western Conference favorites, but now, especially since the All-Star break, it's been crashing down to earth, so it'll be very interesting to see how they finish this season and respond from this. They play tomorrow. If you like offense, this was the game as the Lakers beat the Pacers 150 to 145, and this was out without Tyrese Halliburton making much of an impact. D'Lo didn't even play. Anthony Davis and Pascal Siakam both had opposing 36-point double-doubles, but AD and the Lakers were up as much as 19 points. The lead got cut to four, but the Lakers get the win without D'Lo, as I mentioned. The Cavs have continued to be banged up by injuries, but this is still a very impressive win by the Heat. They win by 37 points against the Cavs. Defensively, they were locking up. Offensively, everything was going right for every player. Subscribe if you like these videos. That's the best from the NBA today.